everyone to this prayer service. Let us pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this moment, the gift of life. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Spirit of God, guide us to the truth. Amen. Sisters and brothers, this morning, let us thank God for God's forgiveness. He always forgives our sins, our infirmities and our weaknesses. Let us thank God for this forgiveness and through the forgiveness, whatever the freedom we receive in Jesus' name. And now we offer a present moment. Whatever that's going on in our personal life, our struggles, or the frustrations, or our worries, whatever the brokenness, or if you're really uh, concerned about a particular thing, or something is really going on in your family, whatever those disturbances or distractions, or even any kind of burdens, or the heaviness of life, offer at the foot of Jesus this moment. Remember all the members of our families by taking their names let us submit and surrender at the foot of Jesus, the totality of our life. Prepare ourselves to do the surrender prayer. Hide me in your holy wounds today. Lessen my desires to be known. Cut short my desire to be loved. Uproot the evil desires within me and the powers of evil coming against me today. Help me to live according to your holy will and fill my heart with your love. Loving God, I surrender my mind my heart and my body, use it for your eternal glory. I surrender every single child of yours who is struggling just like me. Wash and immerse us into the ocean of precious blood of Jesus and fill us with the Holy Spirit. Let us witness your love on the earth. Amen. <clears throat> Let's read God's word. Gospel of Mark chapter 8 verse 34. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves, take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and the sake of the gospel will save it. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, when we, uh, when we complete the chapter, Mark, gospel of Mark chapter 8, one thing is very clear that Jesus speaks to us. If you want to follow him, the only one criterion that he demands Deny your own self. Deny your own self. You know, I remember this beautiful uh, word, uh, message from St. Faustina. She always speaks this. Abandon yourself totally, completely to the will of God. Abandon yourself. Do not trust in your own self. Abandon yourself. Meaning, what Jesus is trying to speak to us. If you want to follow me. There is only one criterion. Deny yourself. Sometimes we realize, sisters and brothers, the problem is me. The problem is me sometimes. I'm not saying that uh, we are, uh, uh, I'm making all the problems uh, and I'm the cause of everything. But sometimes if you really look into our life, our selfishness, our egos, our self-will, our preferences, our wish, our likings. So, when we are trying to deny this self, 
when we are trying to deny this self or when we are trying to empty ourselves and trying to have a other centered or jesus centered life so when i go with my own self centeredness there comes all kinds of difficulties but when i go with the jesus centeredness or other centeredness so things will be bit more easy one thing is for sure those who want to save their life they have to lose this they have to lose this meaning they have to empty their own self so maybe good reflection for all of us deny myself deny myself in order to carry my cross and follow christ thank you father for this help a humble prayer enlighten our mind with the truth inflame our heart with your love enrich our life with the more and more service lord bless us with your wisdom we pray help us to practice genuine love which unites everyone together in christ jesus give us this day the grace to live now as you intend dear god to smile even when our burdens seem heavy our hearts seem broken let us be charitable and humble in humiliation and in all our inconveniences above all o oh merciful father let us suffer without regret for your holy will amen <clears throat> Let's offer all our vulnerabilities this moment, our difficulties, our struggles, our repeated sins. Son of God came to the world to destroy evil and the works of devil. I've given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the world, nothing shall harm you. They have conquered evil by the blood of the Lamb. I have come so that you may have life, life in abundance. I, your servant, exercising the priestly ministry in the most holy name of Jesus asking God's deliverance upon his children right now father god we believe and profess that you are all powerful and almighty god you always listen to the prayers of your children we surrender the totality of our life today asking your healing hand upon our body and soul let there be healing in the name of Jesus Christ I command in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit all the evil powers that troubles and disturbs us by the merit and the power of the most precious body and blood of Christ let those evil powers move into the foot of the cross of Jesus of Nazareth never come back to us again I'm the child of the Father I'm the body of Jesus Christ I am the temple of the holy spirit i belong to heaven evil you have no right and authority over me amen <clears throat> so sisters and brothers let us pray for peace in the world peace in our own hearts and families in all our neighborhood and whoever we meet today let the peace of christ overshadow us let's pray for world peace for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion A mercy on us and on the whole world. A Father who art in heaven, our Lord be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let's also remember people who are departed from our families and all the souls in purgatory. May the souls of the faithful depart through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I love you. Save souls. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now and the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Let's also remember people who are from our own families. or away from god away from sacraments especially those who reject and deny god publicly and those who speak all kinds of rubbish about the church and the people of god we pray for them lord have mercy on them 
of blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus. It's the fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. Let's claim Psalm 91. Assurance of God's protection. Providence upon each one of us throughout this day. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Make me a channel of your grace. We pray, Sacred Heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mary, I consecrate my life to the most holy love of your two hearts. Keep me faithful until death. Bring me one day to the happy home in heaven. There I enjoy with the triune God forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Michael, guard and protect us. Our guardian angels, guard us. <clears throat> we pray together that prayer, Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Offer all our intentions, particularly we are praying for single parents today, their difficulties, their struggles, whatever the sacrifices they are taking uh, towards the bringing up of their children and their personal life. We pray all the single parents and all the singles in a very special way. Let's receive God's blessing. Lord, I am not worthy of you, but in the abundance of your love and your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. <clears throat> o sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time. Eucharistic Lord, bless all your children today, especially all the people of God who are asking special intention their struggles, especially we pray for denying our own self, taking up our daily cross, today's cross, all our sacrifices of today, suffering of today. Lord, we offer all those who are traveling today, bless and protect them in your name. And all the cancer patients, heart patients, all those who are struggling with the various sins and doubts, all those who are struggling with the various worries and tensions, all the young adults, Give them the right spouse and Lord bless them with the right job. People of God who are really coming to you, those who are single and especially those who are disappointed and sad today, all the persecutions, all that's going on in the world, natural calamities, man-made calamities. Lord, in your name, I bless your children. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time. <clears throat> Sisters and brothers, um, today's our Bible reading, Gospel of Mark chapter 9. Uh, may not be the right timing from today onwards till uh, 25th April. Uh, because as I told you, I'm taking a group from Australia, from Sydney and different parts of the world. Uh, we are going to uh, Medjugorje for our uh, pilgrimage and prayers. So we will be definitely praying for you. Any intentions, you can connect through emails um, whenever possible. I do the surrender prayer within these 10 days. Um, tomorrow I will do it, but maybe late. Uh, so when uh, the next chapter, Gospel of Mark, chapter 9. Please count my sincere prayers for all your holy intentions. Keep us in your prayers. May God bless us.